Well, good afternoon and welcome back here to the MGM Grand Hotel. Special, special week. Very, very lucky to be here and a part of just an incredible fight. Of course, the WBA World Light Heavyweight Champion, Dimitri Bivol. Undefeated, unscathed, won every fight with great comfort, never been hurt, lived the perfect life. His opportunity, as we say, in the strap line of this event, legacy is earned. This Saturday, he faces one of the greatest fighters of all time, the current pound-for-pound -pound king of boxing, Saul Canelo Alvarez, on a Cinco de Mayo fight weekend. Uh, he's going to break all expectations at the T-Mobile Arena, live on the zone paper. A big challenge for the team on Saturday. Bienvenido a en primer lugar, eh, obviamente eh, son otras semanas para ti, el, el business como, como siempre, pero obviamente es un gran reto. Eh, cuando hablamos de esta pelea, eh, sab sabemos que Saúl siempre busca peleas con eh, campeones, también para construir su legado, pero se enfrenta a un joven peleador que también es peligroso el sábado y va a ser un reto muy difícil para Genelo el sábado. Sí, es una pelea muy, muy difícil, una pelea complicada con un campeón que le ha ganado a, a buenos boxeadores, a campeones mundiales eh, con muy buena experiencia amateur y la verdad un, un tremendo boxeador, estamos dando aquí nosotros ventajas pero pues al final la historia la escriben los, los que toman retos y así como tomamos el reto de subir a las 168 libras ahora estamos tomando este reto de subir a las 175 ante un un tremendo boxeador, un gran campeón, y esperemos que las cosas nos salgan bien. Yes, obviously it's um, it's a really difficult, complicated fight against a really good champion, um, a, a boxer that's faced some great champions over the years as well. Uh, he's got a great amateur pedigree as well. Um, he's a really good boxer, and people are saying that we've got the advantage, but you know, we always we're always looking to write history. That's why we've gone up to 175. Um, but he's a tremendous boxer, and it'll be a really difficult fight on Saturday. Thank you, Eddie. Dimitri, welcome. I mean, you're up against it this weekend, against the great champion, Cinco de Mayo weekend. The atmosphere is going to be incredible, but I know, through working with you and the team, this is the moment you've waited for your entire career. Winning the World Championship was a great achievement, but I know you've always wanted to go down in history as one of the greats of the sport. You have your moment, you have your opportunity on Saturday night. Uh, yes, of course, I'm really glad that I got my opportunity. Uh, I asked my team many, many years. Uh, I want to fight against the best guys from light heavyweight division, from super middleweight, and now I got this fight. And I want to say thank you, Eddie, for uh, making this fight. Uh, doesn't my promoter, uh, my promoter, World of Boxing and the RCC promotion and record. Frank Smith, yeah. <laughs> and yes, I'm glad and uh, I'm focused on May 7 now and I hope we will make a great fight for boxing fans and uh, I believe, uh, believe in me and I had a long trip to this moment and now I have to do my job. I know in the past we've talked about unification fights with Sergei Kovalev and Betsyviev and you've been chasing all those fights for years. But now you come in against the pound for pound number one, you know, the greatest fighter in boxing. You truly believe that you can be victorious and cement your name as a pound for pound king of boxing this weekend? Uh, you know, to be honest, uh, every time when I came to the ring, I believe, believe in my victory. If you don't believe what you do, uh, you never win. And I believe in my victory. Why not? Uh, I. I'm in boxing since I remember myself, since five years old. When I was uh, 16, I was a uh, uh, two times world champion for amateur. And it means a lot. I think, uh, and now I have a belt. I have a 90 fights, and uh, I have a belt. I'm the champion. Why not? Do you have to use, of course, great amateur pedigree, but do you have to use your size in there? We know you have great speed, we know you have great feet. We know you have power as well, but the one thing about Sal is he's not a 175 pounder, he's not a light heavyweight. You have to use that size as an advantage this weekend. You know, in, in, in fight like uh, this, uh, which you're going to May 7, you have to use all your advantage. 
all, all, all your advantage and use uh, all mistakes you open. And finally, we know, of course, it's Canelo Alvarez, but you are the champion. He is yeah. challenging for your title. He's coming to take the belt from you, and you will defend that belt with everything you have this weekend. Yeah, of course, I I wanna keep my belt, and I wanna I wanna win, and uh, and of course I respect him. He's a great champion, and uh, this is much more uh, challenge for me to only just not only just keep my belt and check my skills against uh, the one of the best fighters. Thank you, Dmitry. So. Welcome. This fight, as it gets closer, a lot of people talking about the quality of this fight. Of course, people talk about you stepping up in weight to light heavyweight, but listening to Dimitri Bivol, the experience as an amateur, the world championship pedigree through the amateur stage, this is a world, world class fighter that you're facing this weekend. Yes, he's a really good champion. He's a really good fighter. We know, uh, uh, we know that, but uh, we train uh, for him. He's a really good fighter. He have a lot of skills, a lot of experience in amateur. He's a solid champion in 175. Uh, but I know, and I'm ready. I believe in my in my skills, and my I'm very confident with my how strong I am. What is it about you and facing champions? You know, your last ten fights, one was a mandatory you had to take, one was Rocky Fielding, but eight times in your last ten fights. You faced world champions with an opportunity to take their belts. You, the pound for pound king of the sport, are the challenger this weekend going into this fight. What is the mentality of, of Canelo in dethroning these champions? Seems like a big motivation to you. Yeah, I like that kind of challenge because I just want to make history, and this kind of challenge is going to put me in the, in the top in the in the in the books of history of boxing. So I. I feel alive when I, I, I have this kind of challenge. I respect the, the boxing skill of Dimitri Vivol, but it's, it's, it's my time. And, and I feel in my prime and, and I, I enjoy this, this kind of moments. 61 fights and Gilberto talked there about fighting for a, a WBA regional title back at welterweight. Now up at 175. Is, is the weight jump part of the challenge? You know, you ruled the divisions in middleweight and super middleweight. Do you have to take these steps to give yourself bigger challenge, almost oversized in this weight class? Yes, because I beat all the champions in 168. So uh, for now, I'm I'm okay in that way, right? I need to take other challenge for my for myself, not for not just for make history for. I, I, I need to feel that kind of challenge and to go up at 175 and uh, have the opportunity to 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 win other uh, title is is amazing for me. And closing off, the mindset of Canelo Alvarez having achieved everything you could only have dreamed of as a young fighter. You see that in the eyes of Dimitri Vivol, that chance to create greatness for himself that you have. Legacy is earned, we say in this and you know that he will be bringing everything to you, but the hunger still burns so deeply within your heart for, for this sport of boxing. Yeah, no, I know. He's gonna bring everything, and, and, and I like the idea, because uh, the only thing I want is bring a really good fight and, and, and put everything in the boxing history. Really good fight is gonna be there in the boxing books. So, um, He's very confident, I'm very confident, that's going to be a really good fight. And finally, we know your Mexican fans are also important to your journey. Last Cinco de Mayo, we were at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium, it was incredible, but back in Las Vegas, Cinco de Mayo weekend, it's going to be very special. The way in tomorrow and of course fight night on Saturday. Yeah, it's very special for me and I feel proud uh, to represent my country in this, this weekend on Cinco de Mayo weekend. Is just I feel I feel blessed uh, representing my my country in this weekend. So thank you so much and, and uh, for all the support and, and I can't wait.